getting started on the project is the hard part sometimes. My name is Anne Barbieri. I work in acrylic and collage, and I have a studio at the Torpedo Factory. Sometimes I describe myself as a mixed media artist because I do use oil crayon, which is basically a stick of solid oil paint. I use oil pastel. I use my acrylics often in a very watery way, so they look like watercolors. And that's how I usually start a painting, with lots of water, lots of drips. Also, you can make acrylic thin or thick according to what medium you use, and you can make it flow or you can make it stand up straight. Or So all of those things enter in so it'll be more interesting. Brushes, big fat brushes. Um, I do scratch into things, but usually I just use the other end of the brush. A palette knife I use a lot. Then you can just scrape across the canvas, and that gives another texture. I have a drawer full of collage papers either papers that I've painted myself so that I can use to tear up in collage, or they might be Japanese rice paper or sometimes fabric. If I can get pattern into it, I do. I hope I don't go too far. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Sometimes I like to buy a big new box of crayons. I think it'll inspire me, but in theory, I should be able to work with what I've got. If I come in to work and I ha am just dying to put some colors down, that day it's easy. But I need to be thinking about something. It's not that I can just walk up to the canvas and start painting and it talks to me. I do have to have a concept. And usually for me, that's a color combination. I start with a drawing and put down the colors that I want to use. Even if I've covered most of it over by the end of a painting, I always like to leave a little white showing through because it, it's, it brightens up the piece and I think it helps your eye skip around and that's just me. I, I love the more white in my painting, the better. I'm doing two of the movements from the scenes from the Louvre. It's kind of um, fits in with the way I paint, which is lively. I like my work to be energetic and full of life and color. When I heard the music, it sounded sort of sprightly, and at least in the beginning. So I have an idea for how I'll start that painting. It's going to be a challenge for me. I'm going to be reacting to the music, and then I'm reacting to my painting. I can't be just totally responsive. I usually have to have a framework and a structure, and at some point, probably early on, I'll put that structure in and then work from there. So it's not going to be, you know, always open to the next note of the music. I, I do like to listen to music while I paint, and I love this music, so that should be good. It's a new discovery for me. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it.